Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> So, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Um. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. So Ryan knows what he's doing now. You just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. Okay, that does make it a bit awkward. Everyone thinks Mac did it. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Hmm, I think it's falling today, but, um... Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can imagine. <laughs> I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. No, oh, I'm really sorry for selling him out, though. Uh, getting the impression here that Charlotte's pretty good at picking up off people's feelings. I think she realizes something is wrong already. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. <laughs> I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye. Thanks for supper. Yep. Well, we're kind of being left to our own devices for now. Oh, that's Mac in the corner. I don't know if we want to go talk to him, though. Oh, Steph! So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Being honest? Or not? Again. Uh, we don't know Jed enough yet. I'm gonna... Maybe not as long as that, but yeah. I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. I don't even know our menu. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I would have liked to see oh, what Alex service. would say. What the truth was, though, because I don't know what the truth was. Behind that mountain man beard, Jed's so obviously a sweet guy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Can we see the auras of other people around us? No. That looks like anger to me. Oh, damn boys. Always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. He's come a long way. 
Check on Ducky and Diane's stuff, and the table in the back cleared. Okay. Yeah, we. Well, the reason why Jed was asking us if we had several years of server experience was really just so he could ask me to be a server for him right now. So whether or not we actually have that experience is not that big of an issue. But again, honesty or not, honesty or not. Wow, tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. Typhon's not a bad company once you get used to how they operate. Right. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Takes a minute to learn the ropes, though. Huh? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I guess the way they do things is just so. I don't know. <laughs> Idiosyncratic. Starting over from scratch like this. Wasn't even on Fucking me. terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. I was on duty. Yeah, they're sticklers about that stuff. It's a security concern. I mean, sure, but it's not like the CIA or whatever. We blow the tops off mountains for a living. Look, I hear you, kid. I've been jumping through Typhon's hoops since Noah built the Ark. But things are the way they are. Sure, I know. I'm just venting. Really, I... I like my job. And the Oscar goes, too. <laughs> Don't fret. I'm not going to turn you in for sedition or anything. Thanks. Don't mention it. If I had to hold in every gripe I have about Typhon, I'd have popped like a damn balloon by now. If you want to tell a good lie, you gotta, you gotta make yourself believe it first. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. <laughs> That's a lot of green. Haven Springs and surrounding wilderness. Backcountry scheme by permit only. Trail maps available at the ranger station. For rattlesnake bites, see Ryan Lucan. For rattlesnake shots, see Jed Lucan. <laughs> Small town. Jed's kind of like our medical guy too. Town of Haven Springs Council vote notice. An official council meeting will be held on May 26 to decide one measure. This measure proposes selling property of no more than 20 acres to Typhon Mining for use in an open pit mine. Both the sale profit and subsequent property taxes will be added to the overall budget of Haven Springs to be divided and spent through standard procedure. More information is available at Town Hall. Talk to a council member if you have questions. Okay, that is, uh, we're giving them land. They're gonna own it. Of course the city would be happy about that, to have a little bit more money. Uh, I'll talk to you in a sec, Steph. Maybe I'll save you for last. Oh, is that really Ryan? Oh, he's tiny. Spring 2000. I should check on that table. Yeah. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Diane is the Typhon lady. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that. Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. <laughs> You're from Portland, right? I moved here from DC six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Honesty or not? <laughs> again and again. Um, I think we'll like it here. We just gotta settle in. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, 
and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. <laughs> Didn't write it down, forgot it already. Whoops. My dad was in the service. Hmm? Really? Hmm. Ducky was a taxidermy guy? Do you ever have new things? Damn boys. Nope. Always fighting. Time to grow up. Menu. Venison and leek pie. I need to try that. Rocky Mountain oysters. Okay. Hello, Jed. Hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. <gasps> you know, I wasn't joking, right? I really forgot. <laughs> I think it was... Cheeseburger with mushrooms? One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? P pie with fries. <laughs> you can say you forgot, oh my god. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Mm, you don't want to go searching for it by yourself? Oh, hey. Someone made a course about my life. Radical acceptance. Finding gratitude in the midst of chaos. New course beginning April 6th? Treasures of Tibet. Well, I can go back upstairs. Still want to hit the trails later this week? You kidding? I've been waiting for this all year. I have a few favorites we can start with, and then we'll go from there. Teller's Peak? Yep, and Mount Huron, and the Devil's Tail. Amazing. I love Maine, but I need to hike some real mountains. But first, you're gonna get the Full Haven experience, starting right here in the famous Black Lantern. Oh, it's pretty... eclectic. Do you think Mom and Dad will like it? I was thinking of bringing them here, too. Oh, yeah. Old wood is Dad's favorite aesthetic. So, how was getting here? Longer drive than you thought? I actually got kind of lost. Did you ask for directions? I wouldn't need directions if the signage didn't stink. Uh, you're <laughs> just stubborn. <laughs> hey, I am not. I'm about to become the world's worst server. I'm just chilling out. This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. Oh, well, there you go. Gabe's couch. Hmm. Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Here, Jack Henry shot at William Porter over four aces and paid with his life. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's a very old bar. Wow. Can I look at the bullet hole? Rest in peace, mister. Damn. Guess these were for mining. Why would they put them here? High safety squibs. Space heater number two. Highly dangerous match for fast detonation. I spelled detonation wrong. Please use caution and clear area before lighting. Handle with care. Keep away from fire. Okay. Maybe I'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds. 
Oh man, crowds. That just means so much emotion for Alex. If everyone's happy, then that's good, but oh my god. It's just such a difficult thing to work with. Is there anything this woman can't do? A Coloradan canvas. When I met Charlotte Harmon in her home studio last month, both her and her coffee mug were covered in paint. Yes, I'm a cliché, she beamed, as she led me towards her latest creation, a gorgeous portrait of local business owner Eleanor Leith. Part oil painting, part lacquered bouquet. Very few surfaces in our house are free of paint. I'm okay with that, she continued. You're probably familiar with Miss Harmon's work thanks to her commission from the town council to decorate the walking path off Main Street. The massive outdoor mural, fittingly titled Haven Springs, captures our small slice of earth nestled in the Colorado mountains. It was such a wonderful experience, Miss Harmon recalled. Everyone supported me during the process, and Jed basically fed my family for months, which was great because the lantern makes the best burger in town. <laughs> the highlight. You can print that. Now, Miss Harmon is looking to deepen her connection to Haven Springs and start a small business. No easy task for a working artist. Hmm. Unusually personable staff. Nicely done, big bro. An ad for the Black Lantern? Pub fare served right. American two dollar signs? Wait, that sounds like it's kind of expensive then, <laughs> according to Yelp. A menu of substandard pub fare, serviceably prepared with occasional standout specials, elevated by unusually personable staff, exceptional surface, quirky patrons, uniquely uplifting experience, well worth the drive to. Really? Those are pretty good reviews. Oh dear. Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Maybe when someone we feel is losing control, that makes me lose control too. It's not just the anger. If they're out of control and angry, then that's the catalyst. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Only two spots left in bread baking competition. There are only two spots remaining for this year's spring festival. This year's theme is seeds and nuts. Interested participants should call Isabel ASAP. The grand prize winner last year was Peter Gowers with a garlic Asiago loaf. Typhon Mining sponsors raffle for a Caribbean cruise. The spring festival will have another raffle this year, and the big prize is a seven-day cruise in the Caribbean. Airfare included. The prize was donated by Typhon Mining in an effort to make everyone in the town love them. Raffle proceeds benefit the Haven Springs Firehouse and the Haven Springs Historical Preservation Society. Tickets can now be purchased ahead of time, at Town Hall or at the festival. The Spring Festival, they've brought that up so many times now. It's gonna be a big thing. It's like the Vortex Club party. Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. Oh, is that what the Silver Dragon is? Oh, flowers, candies, cooking butter... It, it, it doesn't say weed. <laughs> it doesn't say weed, but you can tell by the symbol. Uh, I, maybe I should apologize. That looks interesting. Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. A tag board used in Teller Mine around 1880. Each miner removed his check tag as he entered the mine and replaced it on the board when he had safely exited. Uh, so like what? Six people safely exited? Assuming the board was full? Jed asked me to clear that off. Uh, holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. I- we can't agree with him. Where are you going with this? But Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? 
You hit my brother. Yeah, I mean, I punched my brother, but you actually did fight my brother too. So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. But people are gonna think Gabe did don't it. even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Oh my god! Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. <sighs> I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. <laughs> okay. Um, <sighs> not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there too? If you were my brother, I might be inclined to lie for you, but you're not my brother. And what are you gonna do then? Are you gonna call me out as well for hitting you? I'm new here, like... I, I did hit him, but I couldn't apologize for it. And even though we saw in Alex's journal that she understands how Mac feels, that it's all a sign of his insecurity, it doesn't mean it's okay, you know? So I, uh, no, this is a lie. This is an outright lie. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? Me. I did that. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh. Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? You heard me. I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Wait, but what about Steph? I didn't take Steph's order yet. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> See your face. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> No, I'm only kidding. No, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> that scared me. I've Whew. never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? Sounds good. Whew. Jed did say he was coming. Oh, I was so scared that would mean I didn't get to talk to Steph and we would have to go to the police station or something. Oh my goodness. Arkanoid? Oh, there's another mini game. Hold on. See, Harmon must be Charlotte. 
This is really cool. I totally thought that was going to be the consequence of me saying the truth. That Mac, you know, people, I'll, I'll call it Mac's bullshit, but I'll get arrested. But thankfully, no. What did he think was going to happen, though? Like, I was right in front of him, and Gabe is my brother. I mean, even if Gabe wasn't my brother, even if he was just my friend, then I feel like I would have done the same thing. I understand your actions stem from your insecurity, but it doesn't mean I'm going to lie for you. How mysterious. Amelia Rosam Goldstein. On this site, Amelia Goldstein operated a bed and breakfast for nine years, known for its beautiful rooftop garden. She died at the age of 32 of influenza. Though married shortly before her death, the identity of her husband remains a mystery. Hmm. He didn't come forward and say anything? That's weird. Nineteen lives? Jed is a real hero. Service Above Self, presented with gratitude to Jed Lucan for unflagging courage and outstanding devotion to duty in saving the 19 lives of his team. Rotary Club of Haven Springs. Wow, what happened here? They don't really elaborate. I want to know. Okay, I mean, I know I'm on a job right now, but I've done two things already, which means I'm allowed to rest for a little bit. And I... Oh, it updated! Silver Dragon! First person to finish the lyric gets 10% off their next Silver Dragon purchase. Now I've got a love so deep... That's Charlotte's dispensary. She seems cool. In the pit of my heart. Was well, so a Charlotte works at a dispensary, or she owns it, and she's also an artist. Wow. If you're not 21 yet, this post isn't for you. Oh, fuck if I know. And each day it grows more and more. <laughs> Bae, we've talked about this. Boyfriends aren't allowed to participate in giveaways. You know I can't resist the temptations. Okay, new lyric to finish. Don't hesitate, because the world seems cold. Stay young at heart, because you're never, never old. Earth, wind, and fire. You got it. Just show me this pose the next time you swing by. Gosh, I would do so badly at these. I know nothing about Western pop culture and songs. Hector Gonzalez, lost dog. My golden retriever has run away. Ryan seems like a sweet guy. She's very sweet. Please, please let me know if you see her. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll keep an eye out. Hope she gets home safe. Let me know beforehand if you want to look for her in the woods, okay? I can help. Oh, Ryan. Ryan is sweet. Ass. Gab Gab. G -A -B. That's gotta be Gabe, right? Who's ass? Okay, well, we gotta try it out. How far we'll get, I don't know. Oh, God. Okay, what are we doing? Destroy bricks? Collect power-ups? Next level? Wait, what are we playing here? Some kind of a shooting game? Okay. What on earth? Oh, this is the beginning. Ah, okay, okay. We can do this. Should be simple, in theory. Wait, those ones come back. You just gotta get it stuck up there, and then that'll do a lot for us already. Whoa, my god! Like that! No? Oh, they all come back all the time now. But I keep losing balls! What? Oh! Oh, dude, I was doing WASD, but it's like... Oh, because the mouse is also controlling it, I see. It kind of, like, messed me over just now. Uh, should I be touching that? I don't think I should be touching that, right? That looks a bit... not right. Oh, the balls have been destroying them. Yeah, I guess controlling with a mouse is easier. I don't want to see it on the screen, though. <laughs> Bit of a pet peeve. Come 
Come on, guys. Oh, no! Oh, it's so much faster when you have more than one ball. Especially for the ones that keep coming back. Oh, we're done. Okay. This one I should be better at, I feel like. It's just moving a mouse left and right. That's pretty much it. What is that? Oh! Oh, I haven't even been using some of my power-ups, probably. No! Dang it, I even missed the power-up, too. Come on. The gray ones? Do they even get taken away? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No! Ah! It's all inside the little yellow columns. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, maybe. What? Now what? We have... Oh, we have lasers! It's great! I don't even know what these power-ups are. Okay, little ball, just get the last one, okay? That's the hardest spot, though. It's just sort of like... The blue one here? Oh, and I guess the white one. That spot is crazy! How are we gonna get it? All we can do is make this place easier and destroy- Oh! There we go! Finally! Oh! If you get inside the little tubey area... Might be easier. Whoo! Oh, I lost so many of them so quickly. Too many yellows. Oh, man. Everything slows to a crawl. Once we get up... Oh, but sometimes the yellow... Ah, oh, I guess these yellow ones are okay, but these yellow ones aren't. They're slightly different if you look at them carefully. No, you gotta, like, stay up there. Oh my god, this one took forever! The shape- like, I'm not gonna kill myself just because, you know, this is taking forever, but still, the shape of the levels is what makes it difficult. That one level had way too many of those unbreakable blocks. Just making everything so slow. Come on! Yeah, now I just gotta wait for one of those 20 billion ball upgrades. Is it this one? It is! Come on, come on, come on, come on. I know a lot of you are just hitting random stuff and not where you're supposed to be, but just come on! See, all we're doing is hitting the yellow blocks. It's not doing anything. Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm just babysitting the one ball at the bottom here. It's doing absolutely nothing. Come on. Okay, this level's gone by a lot faster. We're just missing the two... White, depending on that one ball. Come on. Oh my god, the alien dudes. The little geometry shapes pushed me away. Come on, come on. One more, one more. Oh my gosh. Hey, we beat the high score. <gasps> oh. oh. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Still got two more lives. 
Just wasn't expecting this to... Did I just get an extra life? Whoa, 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 should I be hitting that? I don't think so. What, am I supposed to be hitting it though? No, I die. Okay, there you go, fine. Now we gotta start at the beginning every single time, because this guy's like... different. This is the boss. Kind of making this hard for me. Stop shooting out those... things. You just keep bouncing on his head. Come on, come on, come on. What am I even looking at here? Like, what is the lore of this? Is this the final alien boss? Oh. Oh! He somehow won. Oh, and then that counts for my high score. Could have gotten more if I didn't die so many times at the end, I guess. Jeez, that one level in the middle felt like it took me 20 hours. But we got to see the ending cutscene! Yay! <laughs> Do I get to put my name down? The vicious creature which revived Doe has now been defeated, and Doe has been smashed to atomic particles together with its ship Zorg. The spacecraft Vows 3 narrowly escaped the exploding Zorg and managed to return to the mixed tech to restore its condition. But even this fierce battle yet fought is a tiny happening in the endless space of this universe. Yes, I am the best score here. Let's see. My name is... Oh, it's automatically doing it for me. Yes, I did all the rounds. I'm the only person who beat the game, apparently. <laughs> okay. Whew. That's enough. My god, that took a long time, but hey, we got the top score here. Um, but what about my job as a server? <laughs> now I'm kind of worried about that. Okay, maybe we should get the drink. Check on stuff, note to self, find Ducky's whiskey. Yeah. I'll be back. All right, let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Uh, it's like they're, they're kind of telling me to play it again, but I can't. Not now. Mm, so my little, like, empathy ability, I can use it whenever I want. If I want to find the whiskey, it should be on the couch. If Ducky fell asleep here last night, maybe the bottle's nearby. Ha! Great! Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen. A most tenacious detective. To Alex. <laughs> Cheers. From server to detective. Oh. <sighs> Guys, it's only afternoon right now, isn't it? No, it's evening now. It should be. We just haven't seen what it looks like outside yet. My dad was in the service. Damn, was that prank out of line? Did I come on too strong? It was bold. I'll give you that. It was bold. It was scary. Is something glowing there? Thanks for driving me home, Pike. <laughs> You're the nicest cop I've ever met. Whoa! 
Hey! Great. Another wipeout. Pike is a funny name. <laughs> like the fish. Officer Fish. <laughs> Jason, Pike is my... Holy shit, is it snowing? Yep. Sure is. Pike and Diane? Oh, man. Poor Pike. Well, being the town sheriff, I guess that's what it's like. Pike. Business card, chapter one. You know how you can sometimes feel like you're two people at once? I think Pike feels that way. A lot, maybe. He's Jason, and he's Pike. He's a doofus hanging out at the bar until last call, and he's a responsible public servant who volunteers to drive people home when they've had a few too many. He's just some guy, a nobody with subscriptions to too many streaming services, and one of those meal-in-a-box clubs, and he's a cop with a gun and a badge and all the power that comes with those things. Sometime, like, say, in the middle of a blizzard, when the new Typhon geologist gets plastered and calls a number on your business card, begging for a ride back to her apartment. Maybe he wishes he could pick a lane, stay home, have a drink in front of Jeopardy, yell the answers at the TV. But the urge to do good, to do his part for the community he loves, it'll always drag him out into the snow. I don't think I've ever felt that way about a place. Hmm. Some people feel like they're bound to their duties. Purple. Purple is kind of like a sad color, isn't it? Emotions-wise? Oh... Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. I know, right? Blue is melancholy, and then purple is kind of like anxious, I think. Yeah. Sweet jukebox. I'll have to check out the song sometime. Mm hmm. Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. That's a bargain! Fishing and big game hunting! 2019 Haven Springs Quick Guide. Limited license applications are due. April 26. Notice resident license fees have changed. Fishing, 25, deer, 30, elk, 50, bear, 45, mountain lion, 45, big horn sheep, 300. Youth license is also available. Wow. Why is a sheep so expensive? Hmm. That looks radioactive. It's just the color. <laughs> That's the girl from the record store. Staff. Yeah, and it should be the last thing we gotta do here. Um, okay. Hello, Steph. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks, though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. I'm kind of working, but okay. Oh, someone was here. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? I saw some stuff on the walls. People here still talk about it. The tourism board wanted to I make a movie. I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. Why doesn't he want us to know? He's so modest, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Yes, live action role playing. I don't know the details. I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> 
Would you ever want to join us sometime? Yeah, sure. Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. I mean, it's our first day in town. If someone invites you to something, you should probably say yes anyway. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong. You have to take the shot. (laughs) Ryan and I were going to play. You want to take his place? Oh boy, I will not get even one. Dude, you're on. (laughs) Yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Well, how does this work? What if I immediately recognize it? Because Alex is musical. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm, ichthyosis. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Okay. Are these all real? Think of the children, alabaster daydreams. Vic Nasty, blame the monkey brain. Pyric, check, raise. Endurance for electronics, mine the damn porridge. Giralamon, G-line transfer. Gramps McGovern, give me a hand and kick your own ass. Seward's Folly, go Dotty, go. <laughs> the album cover. Sandra Styles, Heartstrings. Vermillionaire, Hero with a Thousand Rhymes. The Ugadelics, Kiss Up and Shut Me. <laughs> Fusky and Wags, Mildred Cross and the Watermelon Floss Brigade. The Who Knows, Miss Beatrix and I. The Odysseus, Ordinary Judas, I was saying Boo Earns, Panoramica, Tommy Tiger and the Tommy Tugger, St. Joan. Ampersand, shit gets real. Cold cocked, should have been me yesterday. Mac- McFadden, unfuck yourself. Doc Scruffin, words hands. Okay. Uh, whether these are real or not, I, I have no idea because I... <laughs> Look, Western pop culture is not my forte, okay? Let's see. Ooh, we can just ask about her. Like, personal questions? Oh, we know she likes, like, indie stuff, right? We saw some swear words, like two. Any punctuation? Um, punctuation, like and, Tommy, Tiger, and the Tommy Tugs, Tuggers, the and would be a punctuation, right? Ampersand. But not that many of them have it. Four words or more. Actually, uh, quite a few of them have... Hmm. There's very few with four words, though. Is there any punctuation in the song title? Nope. Okay. Five questions. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Song title and band name are separated. So just now I asked about... The song title has no punctuation. Okay. The bottom is the song name, right? The top is the band name. Band name. Cover art. Okay, the cover. There's a lot of people on the cover. Is the band name on the cover? Yep. Is the band name on the cover? Okay, that's uh, a lot of them have it though. In fact, most of them do. Mmm, what's the most effective question I can ask? Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no. No animals. Ugh, too bad. 
Some of these are really cute. I know, right? You've got two questions left. Okay. So it's probably... Okay, no animals. It doesn't mean there's people, it just means there's no animals. And the band name is on the cover. And it has no punctuation in the song title. Symbol in the band name? Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. Hmm. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. Let's start flipping from the beginning again. Okay, so hold on. No punctuation? I wish I had all these in front of me. Band name is more than one word. So, okay, so this is not... This has a... There's no animals. These are animals, right? No. And this one doesn't have the band name on the album cover. This one does. Uh, that is an animal, right? A skeleton of an ape or something? What else did I ask? Song title? No punctuation? Wait, I'm gonna write this down. Hold on. Okay, okay. The band name... ...is on the cover. We didn't ask any personal questions, but this one's harder, right? Because this'll probably depend on me remembering what was back at the record store, which I don't remember. <laughs> hmm. But let's see though. Okay, just going by what we have here. This one I think has an animal on the cover. The band name is more than one word. Oh, but there's no punctuation in the band name, so it can't be this one. Band name is more than one word, so it can't be this one. Animals. Animals. Human. Band name more than one word. No punctuation in the song title. Can't be this one. Punctuation? Uh, it could be this one. No animals on the cover. Band name more than one word, because it's a person's name. Band name on the cover. No punctuation in song title. This one has a person. Band name more than one word, though. Um... Band name more than one word? Well, this is more than one word. Oh, this also has no animals on the cover. Uh, it could be this one, too. Fusky and Wags. No band name on the cover. No band name on the cover. M band name more than one word. Mm, could also be this one. Punctuation. Animal on the cover. Band name more than one word. Band name more than one word. Band name more than one word. Uh, no punctuation in the song title. Can't be this one. Okay, so there's three. It could either be the... Fuckadelics one. This one. If I've done it right. Or... I was saying Boo Earns. Or... Sandra... Styles. Stills. Okay, we have one more question. Mmm... If it's the Fuckadelics, we can narrow it down with this one. Okay, of the three I've narrowed it down to, if we get a yes on any of these questions, then we know the right answer. If not, then we have our choices narrowed down to two options. So it's just a... it's just a matter of guessing. Does the band name have a symbol in it? Like something that's not just a letter? Oh. Yeah, it totally does. Oh! Nice. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. The band name does have a symbol in it. It's not a one-word band name. No punctuation in the song title. No animals on the cover. The band name is on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. I think so, because this is the only one that has a symbol on it. The other one doesn't. I was saying Boo Earns. No. Really? This one? Let's see. <laughs> I got it! Fuck. Nice one. <clears throat> Guess I'm drinking.
I'm curious if this relates to Steph being a fan though. Like I didn't ask any personal questions. <laughs> Not sure what they would have given me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey. Thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. Okay, sounds good to me. PSA! Don't play the jukebox game with Alex Chen. I think I see a lot more of the jukebox game in my future. Unless you like really terrible booze. I'm sure you'll develop a taste for it. Have your fun now, but no. Revenge is a bedazzled kiwi snaps shot, best served cold. I've never been more proud. <laughs> We're getting along with people here, that's great. 14 likes for this? Wow. It really makes me feel like I'm part of the community already. Oh, I didn't talk to Pike yet, right? I can't help it. I still tense up whenever I see a uniform. Hmm, why? Hey, Alex. I'm ready to take you up on that drink. Alright. Hey, hey, Jed, can we get, uh... Thanks. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. <laughs> <sighs> you know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. That could be a good or bad thing. Everyone kind of knowing a little about me already. It's like everyone's built up this image of what they think I should be like based on what my brother said, but is it really who I am? Expectations. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? I think so. Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Speak of the devil. How are you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. <laughs>